All right, all right. Welcome back. Sterling C. Sample here from the Steel Jump Training Center of America. And today we're going to get into another tutorial on the Steel Band Tutor Orchestra Edition. This is Volume 7. And today we're going to, uh, we're going to navigate the double tenor pan. The double tenor pan was built by Rudolf Charles, uh, invented by the Rudolf Charles. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> Bertie Marshall, the late great Bertie Marshall. And he is a man that brings the double tenor to life. It's a harmonizing pan, and the range is very, you know, strange. It's one of the hardest pan to play in the band. If you're a double tenor player, kudos to you. You're, you're, you're playing one of the hardest pan in the band because of the way the notes are situated. Okay, guys? So we're going to get it. We're going to get into tutorials. Uh, the octave recognition is F3 to B5. So you're on the right octave here. 3 is good. But sometimes you might you might want to bring it up to four if you want to to get like a lower voice instead of the high tenor voice. Okay, so now we have loaded a Silent Night song. We're using the Silent Night song for all these tutorials. Now we're gonna arm all of these from from one to nine. We're gonna mute ten by hitting that square. Mute ten. So we're gonna arm number two, which is white. White is the, is the default color, so every 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 knob you press is going to turn white. But you got to change them, so you can real you can know which one is which. You press you press once, you press twice for green, hit four, press three times green blue, you press five white, red, green blue, move. You press six, white, red, green, blue, move. Uh, light blue. I think that's move, right? <laughs> uh, white, red, green, blue, move, light blue, black. And the last one is eight. Red, blue, red, green, blue, move, light blue, black, yellow. And then your arm now, you'll start back from one again. So these are your color schemes. All of these represents a note. I mean, a, a instrument or a voice. Okay. When you want to mute a voice, you mute, hit this little arrow here and you mute them. You mute them by hitting on this little arrow here. You know which one is playing by these these little buttons below here. The little buttons below the numbers. They're gonna light up. Okay. So I didn't explain that in the first video already. So if you didn't see it, go back and watch it. And um, Ah, and, and um, let's get it started. Okay, now we're going to get this thing started. Kick everybody out of the room. Sit down behind your pan. Lock yourself in a closet or somewhere. In your studio, in your little, your little man cave, you know. Uh, put your no disturb sign on and let's go. Okay, guys, no disturbing. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to start it up. We're going to let the whole song play. Then we're going to find the melody where it's, where it's situated for the double tenor and the tenor. Most likely, it's going to be just like the tenor pan. Okay, so let's go. Okay, okay, I didn't pop the volume. Let's get that volume all the way up. Let's get back to the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more thing again. We one 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 more thing again. We did not do. Now it's good that I didn't do it, so I can show you how to do it. The vo the tempo, the tempo. It's slow right now. It's forty. It loaded at forty six BPMs. Now you want it at about a hundred. So let's carry up the tempo to a hundred BPMs. BPMs you mean beats per minute. Beats per minute. You want it at about a hundred. That's a that's a nice tempo for you to play at, okay? And remember, you have single steps here. That's for another another class. We have the tempo. We have uh, fast forward. We have stop, pause, play, fast forward, and drums. We this we, we do not use the drums in these, okay? So let's go back to the top and get the double tenor parts. Here we go. So we see in blue, black, and yellow. We see in the blue, I 
we see in the black. The black is, is might be a little hard to make out because of the color scheme on the on the screen, but I'm seeing the black. Okay, so what you can do when you have black, you can always change the black color and put it in one of those colors that are not plain. You see, nine is not nine is not plain, so you can change that color that black into white. Okay, you can change that black into white anytime, or you can change it to yellow. Okay. Oh, or light blue, maybe light blue. You, oh, yeah, don't have, already have a light blue plane, so you can do it in the fluorescent. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's. We're gonna eliminate all these notes now. All of these notes, and we're gonna find. We're gonna play. We're gonna play on the the four, the seven, and the eight. The four, the seven, and the eight. Okay, those are the those are the notes we're gonna so we're gonna mute one, we're gonna mute two, mute three, leave four, mute five, mute six, leave seven and eight, and mute number nine. Okay, so now now if you wanna change this color here, and you could put this color to white. Okay, leave it in white so you could have you could see it more plain on the pan so let's go back to the top and let's play the double tenor part all right so now you see how high that is to me it's a little too high for me so let's let's take it up an octave let's bring it up on four so four to five is good because you have f3 the B5, okay? So now that's a good range for you. So you're supposed to find all the notes there anyhow. So let's let's take it up an octave and see how it's gonna sound. There you go. That's the double tenor part. So let's take it again. Let's take it again from the top again. There you go. And that's the part for the double tenors. You can use that for your double tenors and and um and just um you, you could improvise, you could you know harmonize how you want to. If you want to do extra harmonization, it's all up to you. It's your prerogative. Okay, guys. So that's it for the double tenor section. We're gonna come back with a double second pan and we're gonna do a counter melody next time with the double second pan. Show you how to navigate the double second pan. So we had the tenor pan, now we had the double tenor pan, now we're going to a counter melody with a double second pan. This is going to be very interesting coming down here. So guys, see you in the other class. God bless you and uh, talk soon. See, see, and please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe below. Go below and subscribe to the video. Okay, guys. God bless you and see you in the other class. Still in C sample here from the Steve Jump Training Center of America saying see you in the other class.